Hey guys, what's good? So, if you watch my videos, you probably know that I work a lot with soft materials, from rubbers to silicones to even fabrics. I do a lot of 3D printing as well, hence why German company BioInspiration reached out to me regarding their product, a filament called Willowflex. The filament is a flexible elastomer material that BioInspiration advertises as biodegradable, easy to print, and resilient to use and wear. So today, we're going to play with this fun material and see how it holds up as a practical specialty filament. First, a bit of background. Willowflex was originally crowdfunded on Kickstarter in July of 2015. It was touted as a hardy, flexible filament that yields good print results without the difficulty that comes with many other flexible filaments, along with a whole slew of other interesting qualities. BioInspiration claims that Willowflex is thermally stable up to 100C, down to negative 15C, and inherently safe to print with. Their most prominent claim, though, is that Willowflex is completely biodegradable. According to tests that they've done, within six months in an industrial composting system, 90% of the material will decompose. This is actually backed up by certification for recyclability in both the US and the EU that the material has. Willowflex is biodegradable because the material as a whole is derived from natural cornstarch. So these attributes are great and all but most are hard to quantify in the short term. So in this video, I'll mostly be focusing on printing and functional use. That said, I will be burying some prints in my backyard and seeing what happens further down the line. All right, so enough talk, let's get to actual printing. The filament is printable in both Bowden and direct drive printers, but I use the 1.75 millimeter Willowflex on a direct drive printer. The material can be printed as low as 170 Celsius, which is kind of wild when compared to materials like PLA and ABS. As for other settings that need to be tweaked, well, there aren't any. I was able to just drop my temperature settings and that was it. This is quite nice as many flexible filaments require lots of adjustment and tweaking. The print quality is pretty nice as well. There's a slight bit of blobbing and small details don't always come out as well as you want but surfaces are solid otherwise, and even have somewhat of a nice matte finish. The only difficulty I found while printing was warping. I found that Willowflex warped significantly more than materials like ABS, even peeling up the blue tape on my bed. A good serving of glue stick helps this tremendously though. As for the flexibility in the materials and prints, Willowflex is definitely deserving of having flex in the name. Prints deform fairly easily, and I was able to create simple live hinges with it. But as with any flexible print, this will be dependent on the material, the geometry, and the infill. The filament is elastic, however not nearly that of NinjaFlex. In general elastomeric properties, I find Willowflex to be in between NinjaFlex and SemiFlex. The compressional properties are a similar case. A very useful property among soft materials is grippiness. Willowflex possesses this well, in fact, I've even used it to make feet for my other 3D printer and hand grips for a heavy box. As you can see, this filament has a lot of potential uses and a lot of applications. Overall, I definitely think that Willowflex will keep a spot in my repertoire of filaments, as it strikes a nice balance between flexibility and toughness, while also being easy to print with and not causing any worry about your potential impact on the environment. For all the same reasons, I'd certainly recommend it to people, or anyone looking for a material fitting those properties. 
As I said earlier, I will be doing a follow-up video on this filament where I'll be discussing testing that I've done into some of the other properties of it. If you want to get Willowflex for yourself, I'll have BioInspiration and their website linked in the description below. Do you have any thoughts on this material or questions on it, or frankly anything else related to flexible filament? If you do, leave a comment about it. If you like this video, then you should know what to do, and if you want to follow my work and see more videos like this, then subscribe. I'll catch you later, XYZ Aiden, out.